Hello and welcome to yet another NHM video. In this video I'm going to show you how to check when someone presses a sprite. It's quite easy to do and I'm going to show you how. As you know previously we created a circle object which is a sprite. Go ahead and open up that plus file and we're going to add another void. So below unmanaged update type at override and below public boolean on area touched and then and then return true inside the brackets type in touch event and then whatever you want to call the variable and add a coma and then float local area x and float local area y as p as seen touch sorry a touch event object is an object that we can check whatever event that occurs. For example, if you press the sprite, or if you release it, or if you hold it down. And local area x and y is just where on the screen you press. So we're going to check if we release the sprite. Step if pc in touch events dot is actually not. And then inside the brackets, tap in this dot set position this.mx comma this.my plus 50 this will make the sprite move down every time we press it and release and now we just need to register the touch area so the scene knows how to handle the touch event get on to your scene and type in mscene.register touch area and then type in the name of your object which is in this case a circle and now just go ahead and run the game. I'm going to cut the video till it runs. As you can see now, you can see where I press on the screen. When I press it and release, it moves down. And as I've said before, it's much more fluent on the phone. It's pretty slow on the computer. This video was kind of short, but you learned something new and hopefully you liked it. If you liked the video, please subscribe to my channel and Maybe give the video a thumbs up. It would really help a lot. So hopefully I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.